Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install mud flaps, mud guards on Lexus ES350, this is a 2011, uh, as you can see there is nothing in the front and there is nothing in the back, but I'll show you, show you how to install. So mud flaps I ordered online, this is what they look like, there is a, it doesn't say which one the front, which one is the right, so uh, I'm just going to tell you up front, this is the rear. And it actually says, I'm not sure if you can see or not, and inside it's ES350. So, uh, the, it comes with the four mud flaps, they're cheap, well, very light. I'm not sure, because this is the front one, same thing, it says ES350. On the inside, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but right there. So, this is the front one, and I will show you how to install. Holes that are pre-drilled here, basically are exact, I would say exact fit. On the vehicle so <clears throat> uh, in addition to the mud flaps or mud guards however you want it uh, they came with some hardware screws and washers these are the screws that you came with I'm gonna zoom in quality of the screws are they're very cheap very soft metal I think uh, uh, some wood might be even stronger so you can you can use them or you can replace with something else addition to this Hardware, the screws that I came in, already installed on the other side. I'm going to show you how to install on this side. Very easy. I went online and I purchased a additional uh, clips. Body clips. Let me, let me show you. So, this is it. The reason why? Because these are longer than the factory ones. And I'll show you in the installation process. And I bought some other additional stuff. Number 10 that I'm using is... That right there to install in the rear. You don't have to. It might be an overkill. I'm just overdoing it to make it stronger, but that's what it is. You know what I mean? I'm I like everything to be super strong and basically, you know what I mean? Once it's there, it's so it just does not come off. Will not come off, you know what I mean? Even with the screws because it's plastic against plastic. It's not nothing nothing's gonna happen. Even without this kit that I purchased. So now I'm going to show you how to install the mud flap, mud guard on the vehicle itself. You're going to need either a small screwdriver or a tool like that to remove this clip, this plastic clip. So it's very easy, straightforward, nothing difficult comes off. Just pull on it and it will come out. <coughs> Pops out. So the difference between the factory and the aftermarket, not sure if you guys can see it or not, but right there, the length. You see, I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but this is the difference. <coughs> this is longer, so that's why I purchased, because this part is longer versus this. Because when you add the mud flap, now you don't have much room to grab on the inside to hold off, to hold on to it. <coughs> You don't have to drill anything, and then you're going to need this tool. Uh, size for this is 4 millimeters to remove this bolt. And actually, as you can see, it comes out just with my hands. It's because it's, you know, it's inside a plastic clip. <coughs> so that's how it's easy, straightforward. So the bolt is out. Next step is to line this up. Uh, by the way, this there is nothing for this bolt. There is no hole. What I might do it in the future, you can either drill it, remove the tire, pre-drill it, and put the screw, or just I, or you can actually do it up there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Actually, put drill a new hole through this mud guard and straighten it because this is plastic. If you want to be stronger, if you want it to be just three points instead of two. You know what I mean? For now. Uh, I think two is enough, but it's not gonna hurt. It will definitely big will be big plus. So before the winter time, I will put a third bolt so it's stronger. So so how so the next I guess you're gonna need to put that clip that I showed you. <clears throat> so it's very easy. You align it. You push it. The first clip and then this part. Looks like a screw, but it's not, it just a, it has grooves in it. And just 
push it in and that's it and then this right here I'll line it up and just put the screw back that's that's how it is very straightforward very simple <coughs> basic tools this is the tool that I was talking about So I'm going to put it back. If you don't have this 4 millimeter, 4 millimeter hex, you can purchase them pretty much at any auto parts stores. And as you can see, the screw is back, the clip is back, and it's not going anywhere. So add an additional screw there. It's not going to hurt. It will help. You know what I mean? It just will make it a little bit, will be much better fit stronger. So, so that's, that's how easy it is to install in the front. Let's go now to the back and I'll show you how to install in the back. So now I'm going to show you how to install the mud flap or the mud guard in the rear of the vehicle. For this 2011 Lexus, yes. So line up. Make sure everything lines up here. Watch around the edges, perimeter. Make sure it fits in right correctly. Take a marker, sharpie, whatever. And mark it on the inside the holes. Same thing there. Once it's all marked, pull it back. You see the points, the reference points? <coughs> what I'm going to do is take a drill, drill the holes in the center with a one eighth of the bit diameter. So, this is the drill. As you can see, I'm going to drill it, you push it against it. Drill it. Do the same thing for all three. So I help drill the holes and I'm installing those number 10 uh, special clips. One on top, one on the bottom. Since they're a little bit longer than it should be, I trimmed it with uh, metal clippers clippers for the metal this is the tool that I used uh, see the light is not so good but this is what it looks like so so I'm going to install it Pedrillion holes helps uh, installation easier with the screw using a 1 8 drill bit uh, otherwise it can split and crack if you don't pre-drill the plastic can split and crack so it installs those plastic, those metal clips to install and next step as you can see put it there take the screw that it can you can use different screws you can use stainless steel if you prefer to uh, because you're not gonna see those clips as you can see lined up and when you put in a uh, screw here against the plastic Make sure when this when the screw stops, you don't over over tighten, because you will uh, just break it loose, and uh, and you might have to use those metal clips, basically. So line up with the holes, and just screw them in. Hand tighten. Don't use power drills because you can over over torque them. This is what it looks like when it's installed in the vehicle. The rear. You can see all the bolts there. It's straightforward. And that's what it looks like in the front of the vehicle. So as you can see, it's straightforward. Very easy to install. It does not require you to remove uh, tires or the wheels don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you like my videos and would like to support there will be a link down below in the description so feel free to do it 